We're here with Deng Taihua, president of Huawei's TDD business unit. Deng, thank you for taking time to speak with us this morning. What kind of year was 2012 for LTE TDD development? 2012 is a year of large scale commercialization of LTE TDD. There were 35 commercial contracts worldwide, and 14 of them had already commercial launch. And the subscriber of LTE TDD exceeded 2 million within just one year. The mobility in Sudia shows the fastest subscriber growth in LTTD. Their subscriber already exceeded 1 million at the end of last year. And this is the first network of 1 million LTTD in the world. And for, and for uh, SoftBank, the subscriber of LTTD developed uh, also very fast. After the launch of six smartphones uh, since October last year, and the subscriber of SoftBank uh, will exceed one million soon. And for China Market, uh, two dollar six band had already allocated for as band uh, forty one. Uh, that means the one hundred and the lighting is all for TDD. Uh, uh, and the twenty thousand uh, base station are under deploying in Hangzhou, which is deployed by Huawei, had already started the pre commercial of TDD LT. Uh, their, subs their uh, subscriber in Hangzhou uh, reached uh, 20,000 in just uh, one month. So we can imagine uh, 200,000 base stations uh, in 100 cities this year is a huge market and it's a huge driver for LTTD industry. So uh, I think 2012 is an extraordinary uh, uh, year for LTTD. The whole uh, industry have a great uh, huge. What challenges has LTE TDD development faced, and what are Huawei's solutions to these challenges? I think uh, our big challenge is the available LTE TDD device, uh, especially smartphone. Huawei had already uh, development and uh, release a series of industry-first device, LTE TDD device, include the SAPE and the USB dongle and the pocket Wi-Fi and the smartphone like S and P1 and S and T2. And also Huawei widely cooperate with uh, Qualcomm and uh, Intel and other industry partners to push the whole uh, LTTD industry forward. According to the uh, recently GSN report, uh, 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 32 uh, chipset and uh, device suppliers uh, released 124 uh, kinds of LTTD device. Most of them are multi-band and multi-frequency and including 12 LTTD smartphones. I believe uh, this year more and more TDLT smartphones uh, will go to market. What is the unique value for LTE TDD in the operator strategy? Uh, TDD spectra usually uh, wider than other spectra, so operators can use TDD LT to build the fastest MBB network. There are four typical uh, application modes. The mode one is GSM and UMTS operator have LTTDD. Uh, just as I said, the operator can use TDDLT as the fastest MBB network. The typical operator is Channel Mobile and uh, Behind RTL and uh, Telecom in South Africa. The Model 2 is the GSM and the UMTS operator uh, have both TDD and FDD. Uh, the operator can uh, build a convergence network to utilize the advantage of each band. Uh, for example, uh, operator can use FDD LT for, cover, uh, uh, for coverage because usually FDD frequency is lower than TDD uh, frequency. Uh, and uh, uh, at the same time use the wide TDD spectrum uh, for the capacity. The typical operator is uh, SoftBank and STC and the Optus. Uh, Mod 3, uh, is uh, for the VMAX operator uh, should uh, speed up the migration from VMAX to TDLT. And uh, for the new TDD operator, uh, LTTDD is the first uh, priority. And the mode, five, mode 4 is for uh, the uh, operator have 3.5G uh, frequency. Uh, the operator can use the super wide band for uh, deploy the wireless broadband. Uh, the typical operator is UKBB, uh, uh, which uh, their uh, CTO is the chairman of 3.5G interest group. Uh, 
which include uh, uh, 28 uh, operator and uh, 11 chipset and device supplier. Okay, I uh, 2012 uh, passed and uh, 2013 coming. I believe uh, this year the whole LTTDD industry will, will be full of uh, opportunity. Uh, let's make it happen. Deng, thank you for being with us today. Thank you.